Hey everyone, Rodev here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to create a rule uh, well, display when you join the game, and after that you can click an X button or an accept button, and uh, that basically means you accepted the rules, and they will go off your screen. So let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to starter GUI, make a new screen GUI, and I'm going to call this uh, rules, and then from there what we can do is create a frame, and this frame can be a decent size like that center of the screen and now we're gonna add a few things to it so the first thing is a title at the top that says rules so for that I'm gonna insert a text label I'll put it at the top stretch it across and I'm just gonna make it say rules next thing you want to do is go down all the way down to the text area and you just want to make sure that the text is scaled and you have a nice font set uh, for me, the font I'm going to be using is Gotham Black, and it looks like that. The next thing I'm going to do is go to the frame, hit plus, and insert a UI corner. What this does is it rounds out the edges, and it's really nice. So from there, the text label also needs one, so I'm just going to duplicate it and put it on the text label. That looks very nice in my opinion. And from there, now uh, what we need is the actual rules list, so let's get started with that. The next thing I'm going to do is insert a few text labels for the actual rules. So I'm going to hit plus, insert a text label, and I'm going to call it rule 1. Uh, I think I spelled that wrong, rule 1. And from there, I'm just going to stretch it across, but I'm not going to go all the way. I'm going to go a little bit uh, le less than that, just so the text doesn't hit the edges and looks uh, bad. And then now we can make a rule. I'm going to say rule 1, uh, colon, uh, be nice in chat. And then you can have all your other rules after that. So for this, the same thing kind of goes ahead. Uh, you go to text scaled. You can set a font. I'm going to go with uh, the same Gotham family, but a little bit less thick. So maybe even less than bold, semi-bold. Uh, that looks good. And uh, one thing we do need to do is go to the rule one. And make sure border size pixel is zero so that there is no border. And then from there, you can go ahead and duplicate this. And uh, this one can be rule two. Uh, I'm not even going to bother with spelling it right. Uh, just, I'm just going to move it down a little bit and we're going to call this rule rule 2. Um, I'm on a side of ideas so you can put your rules there. Now what we need is an accept button so the players can accept the rule, accept the rules rather, and play the game. So from there what we can do is insert a text button and this button can go down in the center. I already like the size uh, so I'm not going to change it. You can change it uh, as you like. So I'm going to make it say accept and then uh, we can go down to properties and customize it. So I'm going to say text scaled. I'm going to put, let's see what font, uh, how about this font right here? Actually I don't like that. Uh, let's go with the same font we use for the title, Gotham Black. So from there I actually want it to uh, seem like a button and for that what I'm going to do is go ahead and add some color. So for that you go to the background color. And we can change it. So I know you guys cannot see this window, but you can select a color from here. I'm gonna go with a nice, go to like a light pink, because uh, that's what I've seen in other games. And I'm just gonna go, to, I'm just gonna go off uh, memory. So yeah. Um, we also do need to insert a UI corner in here. So there we go. A UI corner is inserted, and I think that button looks nice. Now we do need to script that button, or else it won't work. I'm also gonna name the button accept button. So I'm going to insert a uh, script inside the frame and uh, we can get our variable. So local frame equals script dot parent and then we can do local button equals script dot parent dot accept button and then we can do button uh, we can do local function on button clicked equals not equals but just like this hit enter a few times and we have our function so now what we need to do is go ahead and script the frame going off the screen we could obviously just make it disappear but we're gonna have it slide off the screen which is really nice so go ahead and go to the frame make sure you copy the position and not the size and you just want to get rid of all the brackets leave the commas and decimals just get rid of all the brackets since we don't need those in the script once you have the numbers and the commas go ahead and copy that Go back to the script, and what we can do is make a new note, and then call this original position equals, 
and I'm just going to put those coordinates there. And then what we can do is take our frame, drag it up and drag it out. So uh, when the player clicks uh, accept, it's going to go up and it's going to go out. And that's going to be the position for when the uh, frame leaves the screen. So then go back and copy the coordinates again, just like this. And then go ahead and copy. I'm going to hit Control Z or Command Z on a Mac just to bring it back to where it was. And then we're going to make a new note um, called after movement position equals and then there's a new chords. This makes it really easy. Now we don't have to leave the script every time we want to add something to the function. So let's get started with the function. What we're going to do is simply frame colon tween position. And now uh, we need the easing style. So enum, let me just double check that. I don't want to make a mistake. Uh, it's going to be end position for its end direction. So for that, what we need to do is udim2 dot new. And in here we can insert the end position. So just hit Control V or Command V with the after movement position. And from there, what we can do is actually go to uh, in between these two brackets, not here. And then from there, hit comma and type enum dot easing direction, not style as I thought. Dot out, and then uh, enum dot easing style dot. Uh, you can use anything you like, like a nice bounce circular. I'm gonna use. Um, Maybe linear. Actually, sign. I, I like sign. Uh, from there, I think that's all you really do need to put except the time. So I'm just gonna say one second after you click accept. Uh, it'll take for the frame to get there. And after the frame gets there, we actually do need to put wait here. So wait one. So this one right here needs to be the same number as there is right here. You can have 0 0.9. Just needs to make sure. You just need to make sure that there's 0.9 over here as well. And sometimes what I like to do is just uh, an extra dot one. I'm not sure. Sometimes it does help. And uh, from there, what we can do is frame. Or actually, not even frame. Just a script dot parent dot parent colon destroy. Uh, but th since this does destroy the parent of the script, um, just in case there are any er errors, we're just gonna go ahead and make the frame invisible. So frame dot visible equals false. After that. Uh, we need to listen for when the button is clicked, so button dot mouse button one click, colon connect on button click. Move those extra brackets by the way. And one more thing for mobile compatibility, button dot touch tap, touch tap, colon connect on button click. Just like that. And now you're done, we can go ahead and test it out by clicking play. So as you can see, as soon as you join the game, you're going to have this on your screen. Uh, as soon as you click accept, it's going to go right off. And uh, that's an issue because of the scaling, but that should not be an issue on your screen. Other than that, it's right of. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I can see you want to vibe with me. Just say you want to vibe with me. Feeling like I want a lottery. You get a